Welcome to Aquarium Dog. I got some real cool stuff for you. Subscribe, like, and comment. Hope you enjoy the show. Another video about fish and that's it. See what I've done is put a little water inside to, to soak the gems up in the rocks. And I'm using this plant too because one is glow in the dark, so it's gonna be really nice, like the real bioluminescence plant. And and I'm gonna keep that plant in there plus the rocks in there. And we're gonna we're gonna wash out that bowl. But the big mistake I made put is put the crickets in at, before I wash them. So I gotta grab this frog. Oh, I gotta put some water. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit, not too much. Now I'm gonna grab this frog. He doesn't bite because we don't have like a lot of teeth. Feels like slimy, you know, slimy. Take this. Oh my god, it's like sticking so much. Sticking, sticking, sticking. You know, I gotta. You don't wanna squeeze him in there. Just gonna leave a little air, not too much. You gotta let him breathe, you know? Gotta be very tender because it has delicate skin and you don't want it to tear. And they're like slimy. One thing about the frog is they are very sensitive to nature and stuff like that. So, so you can tell he's not having a good time in this habitat because it's dirty. And in the wild, it's it's dirty still, but it's not like cramped. So we gotta keep the habitat clean. There's a buildup of toxins and ammonia in there, so we gotta clean it up. So we gotta take this plant and um, gotta keep it on the side because you don't want to get on the desk. Now I'm gonna protect my hands from these toxins. It's disgusting. By putting some gloves on, nice and clean. And then we're gonna have to take up all the dirt. Got the garbage can right here. Gotta take up all the dirt, and we gotta throw it out. And we're not gonna throw out those rocks in there because we gotta keep those. Next step, I gotta water out. I gotta dump the water out. Make sure all the crickets are out there. I'm gonna put this bowl right here because we don't want the bowl th being thrown away. We don't want to cause contaminate our new stuff with this dirty stuff. We're gonna wash this bowl, wash this plant, wash those rocks in there separately than those. Okay, matter of fact, I'm gonna take this plant and put it with the with the new rocks so it can soak in there with them. Next step, you gotta this out. And then you gotta take on the crickets because that was a mistake I made because it's horrible. So you gotta take all these rocks, put them in a pile, you don't want them everywhere. There's some dead crickets in there too, you know? You eat them. The crickets are not gonna climb up the wall. I, mean, I know, the they're gonna crawl on my hand though. See, so once you eat them, once you eat them. So you shake them off. Just shake them off your hand. I know, that's what I'm doing. There's some mud in here because I just dumped all the water. Another bad mistake. Very messy right now. I really got to take these crickets out, put them in this bag here because because it's not going to work with all this mud and this rocks and the crickets. For me to do right, it's going to be all messed up. You don't want them out because it's gonna fall. And it's gonna get everywhere. So we're gonna got this one in there. Plop. Even if it's dead, you gotta take them out. Cause you know, frogs can eat that stuff too. Some of them you see squirming around. Not that good. Oh my god! You saw that frog come out? That's crazy right there. It still has a little air, so, so I'm not suffocating it. Man, that one came out crazy. I was so scared for it. I was like, oh my god. Guys, you see, you gotta watch all surroundings. Working with animals, you always gotta be alert, even in real life, too, even on the streets and stuff like that.
But that's so nasty. That's like nasty. You can put a sound effect in there. <laughs> What I've, what I've done in here is taken this container, it's for cereal, but we're not using it for that matter. And we're taking it, we put some water in it, and we're gonna put these rocks in it now. And plus, it's um, good size for it because there's, gonna, there's a lot of rocks and the plant can fit in there too. And you don't wanna splash them because it's gonna get everywhere. You see how big these rocks are? This, I just cleaned this tank like a week ago, and this one is still dirty again. The cool fact about this container is that one, it's long, so you can see clear stuff inside, and it's clear. And another good reason why I use this container is because because all the dirt right went to the bottom, you can clearly see it's still some on the top still, but we can grab that plant easy, and um, and the rock, we can just lift the rock right up. Now I gotta take these out again. I don't even know why I put it in there. I'm gonna take these old rocks and put them at the bottom. Because, you know, you don't want to throw on the rocks too hard because one, it's rocks, and two, the rocks can crack, and two, the glass can crack. So, then it'll be bad for everybody. But anyway, you gotta wash your hands no matter what. Because animals can carry a lot of bacteria. No matter what you're doing, like dogs, cats, frogs, reptiles, turtles, fish. You always, even freshwater fish where we get our water from, still you gotta clean your hand. So I want to go get some paper towels because I don't really like how this wet stuff looks. And also, there might be a little bit of dirt on the side, inside, so we're cleaning that. If you keep, are you, if you're still seeing um, like water droplets, that's on the outside, you see? The, the frog used to only stay on the side where the rocks are because I don't, he doesn't even like the coconut husk. So I decided to put rocks in it. I decided to put rocks in it so he can go everywhere in the tank. I'm gonna dump some water on these leaves. Dump some water on these rocks, make it nice. Please note that you can't really see the water. I meant the water and the rocks because they're at the bottom one and the rocks, they have like holes in them so they can travel through like sand has that too that's why sometimes you don't see water and sand and the moisture is still there for the frog and you can clearly see right now he's a tree frog because he's holding on pretty good okay fun fact he has a little tiny suction cups on his on his like hands that we don't that's why we don't stick to a wall but he can like stick to a wall so so that's why um he's called a tree frog because he has the suction cup so he can stand the trees and not fall down note the blue is coming back to skin it's not necessarily blue, like car color blue, like the bull. It's like a greenish blue because he's still a chief frog. So I'm just going to grab him. He seemed to be having a better time. Go, 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 no, no. See him? Nice, nice Photoshop right there. No, no. There, get in the water, get in the water, get in the water. No, what is happening? Get down, get down, get down. Pretty nice. Don't even laugh, that's not even funny. Now he's having a nice time in there and I gotta go wash my hands crazy. Now we're gonna give him back his food. Maybe he's a little hungry still because that other container was dirty. Notice that, how amazing it is to see that his color is turning blue again because all the toxins and the waste is um, out of there. And it's, for example, it's like having a house, like say if, you're in a house with clutter, like you're not gonna feel clean, right? You gotta feel nice and open, so you gotta feel clean. So that's why we have this clean area for him. You see, he likes the water, you know? So I'm gonna dump his, you see, look at that water, nice. See, he likes that water. Crickets, that one is dead, so I'm not gonna put it back in there. I'm dumping all these crickets back, I, and I think the crickets are gonna be happier too, before they get eaten. So, I'm really happy with the setup. Look at his color skin. I think he's gonna come out more. And I like how it's like nice and neat and not like dirty. It makes me more enjoy. So, I'm already a little bit tired. I'm getting ready to go to work. Today's the big day. Brooklyn's. Brooklyn. I've been online. I've been talking to D from Brooklyn. 
he is on YouTube. I'll post his link on here. Additionally, he's the one who uh, recommended and also through his video, I learned about this event that's happening at the Brooklyn Aquarium Society, which meets at the New York City Aquarium, which is in Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York. This is a cool aquarium. Used to go there when I was a kid. Anyway, I gotta head out to work. Been up for a while, and working on the actual fish tank. I actually videotaped my daughter uh, changing her uh, terrarium, or rather changing the substrate for her frog tank. So, it's already been a, a, a day's work. Anyway, heading to work. When I get out of work, I'll see ya. I'm excited, ready to go to the uh, event tonight at the Brooklyn Aquarium Society with Todd Gardner. He's gonna be presenting some material there. Should be awesome. He is one of the leading, if not the foremost expert in marine biology in my mind. Um, so, let's go. I'm out. I'm going to the Brooklyn Aquarium Society event this, this evening and I'm hanging out with my boy Matt. I know he's coming, but he might. Let's see. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there's traffic again. here right by the world famous cycling. Brooklyn Aquarium Society event. He is awesome. You guys gotta come out, gotta buy some of these posters. <laughs> the auction and, uh, Thanks, man. 